Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. AUVSI Exponential Speakers see bright future with focus on safety and jobs. FAA begins drone airspace authorization expansion. And Institute debuts Scan Eagle 3 Unmanned Aerial System at Exponential 2018. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. As divergent as the keynote speakers who addressed a full house at Exponential 2018 were last week, they shared a common message of optimism for the future of unmanned systems. From a business point of view, Precision Hawk Incorporated CEO Michael Chasen described how his company's work in preparation of the newly released Pathfinder report provides a practical path toward ensuring that manned and unmanned aircraft could share the skies safely. Dr. David Autor, Ford Professor of Economics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, openly frank about his lack of expertise in robotic operations, maintained that doomsday thinkers who believe unmanned systems will trigger a massive loss of jobs are wrong. The chief lawyer at DOT explained how the FAA and others are well aware of the need for the government to keep up with advancing unmanned vehicle systems technology. The department is particularly focused on fostering progress for UAS users. We are looking at the whole scheme of regulations to make sure they are adapted to the new technology we are dealing with today," says Stephen G. Bradbury, DOT's General Counsel. Bradbury noted that more than one million users of small UAS are now registered with the FAA. More than 150,000 of these aircraft are for commercial use, he said. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Intel has disclosed details of Intel Insight Platform, a digital asset management system enabling effective aerial data management and analysis. It also demonstrated Intel Mission Control, next-generation flight planning software, and new updates for the Intel Falcon 8 Plus system, additional payloads for greater data capture, as well as distance hold and distance guard, both features of obstacle avoidance. First announced and demonstrated at Interdrone in September 2017, the Intel Insight platform is now deployed to strategic enterprise customers across several verticals. Airbus Aerial and Drone Base have announced a partnership that delivers the world's first multi-source data service solution for aerial imagery and data from a single provider. This effort enables companies that have previously used a variety of separate sources for their data and imagery insights to now use a single global service provider. DOT has posted a notification in the Federal Register laying out the procedures for companies that would like to seek an air taxi operator exemption, allowing them to hold economic authority from the DOT to engage in certain air transportation operations with UAS. Companies proposing to operate UAS to engage in air transportation, including delivery of goods for compensation, must first obtain a certificate or exemption authority from the department prior to engaging in the air transportation. At least 65 people have been rescued by drones in the last year, according to a new report issued Monday by DJI, the world's leader in civilian drones and aerial imaging technology. The report gathers accounts from news outlets and public safety agencies around the world and includes 27 separate incidents on five continents. The report, More Lives Saved, A Year of Drone Rescues Around the World, is available for download. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. The FAA has begun expanding an automated system that will ultimately provide near real-time processing of airspace authorization requests for UAS operators nationwide. The FAA is now phasing in a nationwide beta test of the Low Altitude Authorization and Notification capability that will deploy the system incrementally at nearly 300 air traffic facilities, covering approximately 500 airports. The beta expansion follows successful evaluation of a prototype Lance system last November. The first facilities taking part in the beta test are listed on the FAA website. 
The final deployment will begin on September 13th. Drone operators using the system can receive near real-time airspace authorizations. This dramatically decreases the wait experience using the manual authorization process and allows operators to quickly plan their flights. Lance uses airspace data provided through temporary flight restrictions, NOTAMs, and UAS facility maps that show the maximum altitude ceiling around airports where the FAA may authorize operations under Part 107. Beginning April 16, the FAA also began considering agreements with additional entities to provide land service. Supplier applications must be made by May 16. The FAA and industry are working together to develop and deploy LANCE applications, which will help set the global standard for safe and efficient unmanned traffic management system. It is an important step in developing UTM. Boeing subsidiary Institute introduced the Scan Eagle 3 at AUVSI's Exponential 2018 in Denver, Colorado. This provides additional benefits to Institute's customers through commercial pricing as well as global exportability through commodity jurisdiction from the U.S. Department of State, stating that Scan Eagle is not covered by U.S. international traffic and arms regulations. Scan Eagle 3's exclusive engineering and design draws from the best of the Institute family of UAS products, including previous iterations of Scan Eagle as well as Integrator. Using proven design approaches and modularity, Scan Eagle 3 offers a significantly increased payload capacity, up to three payloads simultaneously, and is fully compatible with existing system components such as a Nexa Control and ICOM C2, as well as Institute family of launch and recovery equipment. This incredible combination of payload capacity and flight performance comes at a price point similar to the venerable Scan Eagle. The Scan Eagle 3 features an innovative ground adjustable aero package, enabling a large center of gravity range for even more payload integration options. Other enhancements include the next generation avionics, designed for increased performance across multiple levels of criticality, a new purpose built propulsion system that increases reliability while reducing life cycle cost, and the same proven autopilot as the RQ 21A Blackjack. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.